There are more than one billion children living in poverty around the world. In the USA alone, 20% of children ages 12 to 17 live in poverty and are caught in a vicious cycle. Their poverty leads to exclusion, which in turn leads to ignorance, and ignorance perpetuates poverty. For victims of poverty, ignorance, and exclusion around the world, equal access to education is hope. Education is the great issue of the 21st century. It breaks the vicious cycle of poverty and provides people of all ages with the means of personal liberation. Education is the hope for all of our futures, but more than 600 million poor children around the world still receive no formal education at all. The children of the world could be our greatest resource, but instead, they present our greatest challenge. And as we have all seen, there is a terrible price to be paid for ignorance in the world. Over 300 years ago, Jean-Baptiste de La Salle began the La Salian movement in France, specifically to address the educational needs of the poor, regardless of their religious, racial, or ethnic heritage. Today, more than 6,000 La Salian brothers and nearly 65,000 lay partners in La Salian schools and projects around the world are educating 900,000 students in 87 countries. Two of the hallmarks of La Salian education are caring professional teachers and excellence in education. But there is always more, personal responsibility and leadership, as well as spirituality, faith, and service to others. As it has for over 300 years, the work continues. If we really want to take the poor out of the cycle of poverty, uh, the only real gift that we can give them is good quality education. The thing about the Christian Brothers is that they're, they pay attention to the marginalized people, the people on the side, the people who usually, traditionally, do not get that attention. You can have the best educators, but if they're only teaching the intellect, uh, they're missing a large part of the person. It's important for us in this school to live as a family. We learn from each other, we live together, we work together, we play together, we pray together. All those things are important in building a sense of community and family that is the school. It's so wonderful how my own faith is strengthened in, in a community that wasn't of my faith because they believe in God and they believe in things that are important to everyone regardless of religion or race. Even. Education isn't just for the sake of knowledge. That there has to be some purpose to it. Why are you learning this? What's it for? Well, if it isn't to serve, and it isn't to give back, and it isn't to reach out to those who don't have, and to serve the world and the community at large, it's meaningless. I, I go home now and I, I talk to my mom and my dad. And, you know, yeah, I'm so lucky. Thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say enough thank yous for sending me here, for you know, sacrificing, for paying the tuition here, for you know, doing everything they can to send me here. These kids have a lot of obstacles they have to overcome. Financial assistance means a lot to these kids. It gives them a chance. It gives these kids a chance from, um, from the inner city, and also it also gives them a lot of hope so that they, too, can continue with the cycle of, uh, of learning and giving back to the community. I really want to go to St. Mary's because it's a good, there are good programs there, and it's in a good, steady work environment. It will give me a better opportunity in life. I would like to be the first person in my family to graduate from high school and get a good education. I want a chance to be challenged. I want to go to a school where they were, you know, put my grades to the test so I can do my best and know that I did my best. They obviously want the best for each student, not just educationally, but emotionally. And I feel like that's going to play an important role in my future. La Salian education today directly reflects the social entrepreneurship of De La Salle 300 years ago. It embraces the poor with subsidized tuition schools, providing access to those who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford a La Salian education. We've started leading edge programs that help break the cycle of poverty. In one of the poorest areas of Portland, Oregon, we have taken a closed school and brought it back to life. In San Francisco's infamous Tenderloin District, we've created the Demariac School from yet another closed school. 
Yet in California, Oregon, and Washington State, there are still nearly 700,000 children living below the poverty level, caught in a vicious cycle. But there is a way to break this cycle. We begin with the heritage of a social entrepreneur 300 years ago, giving us the framework that supports our Lasallian system of education today. However, these two elements alone aren't enough to break the cycle of poverty. There is a third necessary element. It is the involvement of social investors, investors who are dedicated to transforming young lives through education, helping them to play their part in the creation of a better world for us all. We invite you to make this investment. Come, help us continue this work. One of the beautiful things about our mission is we encapsulate it into what we call Esslers, expected school-wide learning results. We say a De La Salle graduate is a man of faith, a man of integrity, and a man of scholarship. Those three blend together into what I call the De La Salle graduate, a man who has a heart, who cares for others, and is a lifelong learner. What makes De La Salle special is, is that education in here has a, a special purpose. And it's not a selfish purpose. The school is designed and, and the curriculum is designed to educate young boys to go out in the community, further their education, um, advance their education, and come back and give to the, that community, not just our community, but give out to wherever they may be, wherever they go. So it's a service-oriented type of education that there's bigger things in life other than themselves. There's bigger purposes in life other than what they may be involved in for in their immediate family. It pushes kids to extend themselves and to live that gospel message of serving each other and uh, being ambassadors of goodwill. The Dallasian community is, is uh, we've, we've had a great opportunity with our son, but we've also have met a lot of wonderful parents uh, that we know uh, and we continue to know. I think part of the beauty is that De La Salle not only embraces your son, but it embraces your, in, your entire family. Yeah. And we just feel so blessed to be part of this community and to have this community have touched our son's life. We just feel very, very blessed to be part of this De La Salle family. There's so many people that just care about you. This is like the first time in my life, like besides my family or anything, that I've been in a school environment where it's like the teachers and the students and everybody just really helps that you do well. It's a total involvement with the community, the teachers, the, uh, the faculty, the parents, the students themselves. Uh, it's just a really a loving community, which I think is kind of together as, as one, and they just head in the right direction. It is our hope that we can have an open, welcoming hand to invite young men into the school. Given the cost and pressures of what it is to come to a Catholic Lasallian school, your generosity makes it possible as we hope to educate each young man who does not have the financial means. We embrace them and we welcome them. With the campaign done, a lot of folks are asking us, what's next? Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to focus on what has been our tradition and what is a cornerstone to our excellence here at De La Salle, and that is to enhance our annual fund. The annual fund does three different things. It helps us focus on our student programming, all the co-curricular activities that go into enhancing the in-classroom experience as well as the out-of-classroom experience. Everything from campus ministry and yearbook, clubs, sports, all the things that go into rounding out our young men and making them truly men of faith, men of scholarship, and men of integrity. The annual fund will also help us do something critically important to our mission, and that is to provide much needed financial aid to a variety of young men from diverse backgrounds. De La Salle is, I think, presently caught between a rock and a hard spot. Uh, it's very difficult for the teachers and the staff here to uh, work in this, in this community and live in the same community. It's, it's, uh, it's very difficult to do both. Uh, subsequently, our tuition is, has been driven high and it makes it un unaffordable for a lot of deserving students. This school is built on community. It's built on togetherness. It's built on coming together as a community. 
and uh, recognizing each other's talents, seeing each other as people. And this is a place where kids are going to be able to go and, and do that and see that. I think service is important when you're looking at uh, what the call is, especially from the Beatitudes that, that Jesus gave us on Sermon on the Mount, is that when you take a look at the least of these people, you're, you're looking at me. One of the um, missions here is enter to, learn, enter to learn and leave to serve, and they definitely prepare you for that. And the kind of the attitude you get while going here is you've received so much and you feel like you've been developed into being a better person that you definitely are inspired to go out and share what you've learned and all the good things that you've learned here out into the community. We are part of a global community. No matter what color, faith, creed, uh, or nationality, uh, where it is you happen to live, you know, the world is round. I'm a senior here. I live in Bay Point. I've played football here. I've wrestled and currently I'm playing rugby. I went to Italy over the summer with the school, which is a uh, it was amazing, probably one of the best experiences of my life. Met some of my good friends there who are still my friends to this day. I came here to play football and meet some new friends and I knew it would help me get into college, but I definitely didn't think that I'd become this person that I am today and learn that I can like really truly help people. My name is Kalen Butler. I'm a junior. I'm part of the football team, the track team. I'm a member of SCORE, which is a student coalition on respectful education. Um, we teach freshmen, kind of like an icebreaker class. For a couple of weeks, we just go through their classes and just talk to them about different issues such as discrimination, how to get along with their peers, how to uh, get along with their teachers, how to plan their schedules out, you know, just basically just get them adapt to the high school life. Most of the time for the first week, they're kind of shy. Sometimes they only know me from like the football field. So I say my name is Kalen Butler and they'll just see, they'll think of a helmet and some shoulder pads. They haven't really seen my face. so. So they, may, they might be a little intimidated, but once you talk to them and get to, get to know them, it's, it's fine. The best thing that I like about De La Salle is the religion classes. Me being a Christian Baptist and this being a, a Catholic school, I kind of uh, butt heads with my, my religion teachers a little bit. And it's fun because you get to learn other people's point of views, and it's always good for you to see the world at other, from other people's eyes. De La Salle, the big thing that I have got from here is uh, a sense of accountability to the community and to my teammates. Uh, as I, for the most part, I got it from the football team, just holding myself accountable and holding others accountable for, for doing what's right. I'm not living in this world by myself. It's other people I have to get along with. My name's Bob Gould, and I'm the assistant dean of students. Two of my uh, mentors in my life, my most influential people probably in my life, I met at this school, uh, Brother Lawrence Allen and, and Frank Tammany. I wanted to give something back to the next generation that was given to me. A sense of community as a young man that helps you develop as a person, develop your character, was developed here at this school through, their, through the community of the Christian Brothers. I think kids have a little bit more of a challenge uh, in life than I did as a student here, but I think they do exceptionally well when they come to the school getting through those challenges. You know, it's funny, there's not a difference between last year's graduates and the graduates that graduated with my brother in 1974 and 75. It's the same thing. They talk about the experience, the bond they have with their classmates, with the school, um, that it was a life-changing uh, life experience being here. Great coming here as a school. I had two older brothers graduate from here, one in 74 and one in 75. Great memories. I, I built lifelong friendships uh, that are still going very, very strong. When you work with young people, their energy rubs off on you. You just enjoy the experience of watching them grow and be successful and going, knowing that they're going on to the next stage of their life. That's their accomplishment, but it's very gratifying to me just to watch them grow.